And I kind of just fell into it, really. I fell into it after I just left Ipswich. That United were in the Champions League final at Wembley. ITV got in touch. Would I do a game? And honestly, I was in my house in Ipswich. So I thought, will I, won't I? And this is true. I think it was a Monday, a couple of days before the final. My solicitor went, they'd like an answer quickly. And I read my horoscope that day and it said, <laughs> honestly, it said, you can't keep saying no to people. So I said, I'll do it. <laughs> and I don't mind just giving my opinion and, and going home. It's fine. I think that they've just been running to the ground. Oh, Gary, Gary, honestly, it's, it's two yards, man. It's, I guarantee if you'd done the same, but do you think we'd be telling you off? If you didn't close somebody, well, of course we would. You'd tell me off anyway. I, I burst onto the scene, didn't I? And Did you Lauren burst onto the scene? Burst? You don't remember <laughs> my head against on Villa? Do you not remember that? No. Very few defenders burst onto oh, the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm not going to ever win anything. <laughs> that, almost won a title with, with Suarez coming in. Sometimes just that, that one player can sort of just make a huge difference. But Jim, so you just said almost won a title. You didn't win a title. You know, talking about Manchester. Well, you've been in that, in that hot seat, Roy. How hard is it to make a decision like that? It must have been very difficult. Obviously frustrated. Obviously, Brendan Dares after a game, this disappointing result. He's then asked about the discipline of the players. Clearly frustrated. No doubt disappointed with the players' behaviour. I'm led to believe they were caught in a hotel room watching a league of their own. <laughs> so, um, but tough, tough day for Leicester when they're trying to get the Champions League. I'm not sure about he's that. He's just asked sure. me if he could come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's dropping in the mentions, Jamie. I know, I know. He better be on time. I'm fed up already. Not even started. What am I doing in my life? Do you how? We said quarter past, but quarter past to me means 10 o'clock. It should be 15 minutes early. Vince Lombardi, the great American coach, said that. Hi. Hiya. You okay? The traffic is clear, you can go. I know. You're blocking everybody up. Who needs to be miserable now? Who's miserable? This is going to be hilarious. <sighs> I'm not sure I want to go anymore. Do you really hate people who are late? Why can't they be on time? Where is he? Jesus, man. Are you looking forward to seeing him again? I was, not now. He's late. Uh, is that a flag he's got sticking out of the car? Open the door for you, sir. Take them flags off. <laughs> you <f> live. <laughs> Jesus you Christ, man. You said quarter past ten. <laughs> Drop me home. I'm not going anywhere with you. We're going to Wembley, mate. Come here, Liz. We're not late. We are late. Let's just kill you off. Is he want now? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, it's not all right. <laughs> Who do you support? <laughs> You're a city fan. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get one with him, not with me. Go on with Nicka. Go on. <laughs> Poor. The difference in class, quality, decision making, um, everything. It was, I know the old saying, it was men v boys, but United are so awful, it's, it's unbelievable. When, when Man United signed Pogba, it wasn't to be playing in the Europa League and to be trying to win the league. That's not Cup. his fault, is it? Well, he's part of the problem. Well, he's, he's out there playing. He's come for big money, big reputations. We're seeing the interviews. He's saying, I've come to win big trophies. Well, do it. Do it against Man City at home in the League Cup. But if you think Fred and McTominay and Maddage in midfield will get Man United back to the heights of winning league titles, then you're living in cuckoo land. Midfield, Fred. Fred's playing for Manchester United. Fred, anyone who tells me Fred is good enough for Manchester United, I've said he's living in cuckoo land. If you think Pogba's going to get Man United winning titles and challenging, you're in... I'm doubtful of you anyway, but you're confirming you're in <laughs> cuckoo land. But you're still, I've been a manager, you're going to a match with players and you're looking over your shoulder on the bus and you see Shaw, Maguire, Fred, and these boys, you're going, my job depends on these guys. Then you're in trouble. People now care more about the stats than the performance. What did you make of that, Roy? He's come out fighting. Fighting? It was bizarre. It was a lot of nonsense there, wasn't it? Like, talking about a lot of stats. 
just get on with get on with being a footballer. There's another group of players out there for Man United. They are talented. We're on about Cavani, a big loss. Cavani's Cavani's always injured. He's thirty odd. You can't you know, can't hang your hat on Cavani every week. He played last week. He done okay against the poor Tottenham team, and he's injured again today. He loves a niggle. You can't hang your hat on him. Uh, again, a lot a lot of a lot of talk now this week. A lot of rubbish coming up from players. Apologies, left, right, and centre. It's it's no good. It, 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 it's all rubbish. All that kind of nonsense that coming up from players and from Team Rashford and Maguire. We'd Fernandez a few weeks ago when he missed the penalty against Aston Villa. Just get on with the game and turn up and get give everything you have for the club. You're loving this, aren't you, Roy? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's great to be here. <laughs> Torture. What what Ronaldo's become is obviously a phenomenon. Is that is that the right no. way? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, nice conversation with you, Jamie. I yeah. thought. <laughs> Totally blank. <laughs> Just like most people do. <laughs> so for you, if you've gone for company, do you think he's the best centre back to play in the Premier League? No. Who would you go for? Um, I'd probably go for Rio. Are you open for the call out here, or what? Okay. No, no. <laughs> I was better than Gary. At what? <laughs> uh, Jamie, you've had when got, you're a player, Jamie, do you actually think Jamie, to yourself, Jamie, no, no, you've had no, 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 you've had got players before the break? Because no, but you're saying when you're a player, and I've been involved, we didn't win the league for 30 years at Liverpool, right? Just look at me when I'm talking to you. We didn't win the league for 30 years. Jamie. My first team talk at Sunderland, we played Derby away, and again, I spoke to groups of players before, but this is the first time I spoke to a group of players. So before the team, we were in a hotel near Derby. I'm speaking to the players. I'm thinking, I've got to get this right now. I've got to win the players over. You know, you overanalyze stuff sometimes in your head. And I just, I was speaking about Derby, and I went on about the goalkeeper a bit long. I just said, their goalkeeper's not great, uh, not great in crosses, somebody nail him the first few minutes. Did it. And I kept going, but there was a player in the background, David Connolly, one of the strikers, but he had his hand up at the back. So I'm looking, I'm thinking, he hardly needs the toilet or something. <laughs> so I go on, I keep going, and eventually I'm chatting to the players, I went, Dave, what is it? Like, what is it? You know, this is my big moment. He went, you know, the keeper you're on about. And I went, yeah. He said, he was sold two weeks. <laughs> All right. All right. I said, there you go, yeah. there you go, the scouts, they can't do their jobs properly. <laughs> and everyone was dead relaxed after it, and we won 2-1. So you can, you can talk about team talk, so you, you need these light moments, and then players, you can win players over with that, but you have a little bit of humour, but you do things to get wrong. I'm just worried where we're going to fit the other United lads in. We've got Giggsy. Mm. Giggs is not going in my team. Oh, gee. Re <laughs> really? <laughs> no? It's well. I've got I've got a front three. <laughs> Just dropped that bombshell okay. and moved on. <laughs> it's not, I, I'm I love Ryan Gibbs. I'm, I'm judging him on not judging him over his career. We judge him on the '99 season. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how many goals he scored that season? Four. Is that enough for you to get in that team? No, but there's a bit. Of, there's... You're not reading no <laughs> books nowadays, no? I'm planning to read two books during the World Cup. Go on. If I have the time. Yours. Are you going to read it? I'll read it. Oh! I'll read it. And what is the other book you're reading? Uh, Martin O'Neill's got a book coming up. So oh, you love Martin O'Neill, don't you? I like Martin, yeah, have you respect for him? I like uh, Martin. Good Jeff Shreve has got a book out. Yeah, I might read that if I'm struggling to sleep when I'm older. <laughs> it's a plug for the book, Jeff. It's best yeah, 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 of course, yeah. <laughs> Shit up. We'd want to be a manager. You know, it's hard to win football you do. matches. <laughs> <laughs> you, you told me you're taking me as an assistant. What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Just get my head round you as a management duo with Roy. Yeah. <laughs> the kit man. But <laughs> 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 Iran. Mm-hmm.